Are you hungry? How about slow cooker Korean beef stew? That's what's for dinner. So for the slow cooker Korean beef stew, you'll need two pounds stew meat cut into one inch pieces, one 16 ounce bag of baby carrots, six green onions cut into one inch pieces, two cloves of garlic chopped, one half cup tomato juice, one fourth cup soy sauce, three tablespoons sugar, two tablespoons sesame or vegetable oil, one fourth teaspoon pepper, two teaspoons cornstarch, four teaspoons cold water, and three cups hot cooked rice. And I'm gonna use the boiling bag because that's real easy. So let's begin. So the slow cooker Korean beef stew is a very, very easy recipe. Hardest part is getting everything chopped up. The rest of it is just dump it in and let the slow cooker do its thing. So take your two pounds of one inch cube stew meat and pour in the crock pot. And mine's a little bit more than two pounds because I just didn't want to have a, you know, like a fourth of a pound or whatever left over. Your 16 ounce bag of baby carrots, my six green onions, one inch pieces, two cloves of garlic chopped up, one half cup of the tomato juice, one fourth cup soy sauce, three tablespoons sugar, two tablespoons of the sesame oil or vegetable oil, and then one fourth teaspoon of black pepper. And then just give it a mix. If you don't have a crock pot liner, which I'll include a link down below so you can go check that out, you are supposed to spray your crock pot. But I find these are so easy, there's so little cleanup. Put your lid on. Now the recipe calls for cooking it on low for nine to 11 hours or high for four hours, 30 minutes to five hours, 30 minutes. And I like cooking mine on low. I just feel it has that better slow cook flavor. However, I didn't realize it was gonna take so long and I don't wanna wait till eight o'clock tonight to eat. So I am going to turn it on high and cook it on high for two hours and then I'm gonna switch it to low and cook it on low for six. So that's it now until it is done and we'll be back. We're gonna make our cornstarch slurry with two teaspoons cornstarch and four teaspoons water. And we're gonna mix that up and then we're going to pour this over our beef stew, turn the slow cooker on high, and let it cook on high for 20 minutes or until the sauce has thickened. So here is the slow cooker Korean beef stew. My husband will give it a taste test. Now what is this? Slow cooker Korean beef stew. Okay. Over rice. Well, now it's mixed in with the rice. <laughs> I 
I'm liking this. Mm -hmm. Recipe deals for easy meals. Please like, subscribe, and share. This is Cooking with Sherry. Until we meet again.